more My Music Box sets. everybody and welcome to the next part part four i think it is have a look at my bigger music box sets uh, as i mentioned in the others which you can watch on the playlist any want me to show in more detail just let me know in the comments some of them are already unboxed i will mention that if i have and any and you may be able to find them on other youtube channels because they do exist um because a lot of them are very old so other people will have unboxed them but let's get cracking Okay, uh, this is the Beatles mono box set. Many unboxings of this. So this is all the albums that were released on mono. So that's all of them up to the white album. Plus mono masters of the non-album tracks. All in vinyl replica sleeves, nice booklet, etc. This was a recent purchase. Um, it came with a signed print. It was a big one, which is why it's not with this. But I did show it off. Of my autograph video update thing at the time but this is lulu decade 67 to 76 i'm not long li finished listening to this so it's all our albums from that era plus um single tracks and foreign language versions uh, a whole unreleased album on here as well nice little mixture did also show this to some extent this is Boxing the Shadows 1980 to 1990. So these are other albums from that period. Plus it's got some bonus tracks, some remixes, single remixes on one or two of the albums as well. And this came with a signed photo. We're all, it's a nice little book actually. Replicas of the sleeves. The only thing is that the text about the albums doesn't necessarily fall in the right place for the albums if that makes sense but i do like the way they've done it as little so as i say replicas did i miss that one this is the deluxe box set of ellie golding's delirium album uh so this is just the deluxe version of the album, the, the one with extra tracks. It comes in a nice box. So that's just the normal album. It's available separately, but the box comes with some art prints. Boy, well, proper glossy photos actually. One of which, as you can see, is signed by Ellie. Big fan of Ellie's. Isn't that working? Because that goes around there. Oh, okay, so that's better. Okay, this is the. <sighs> I don't know what name I gave to this. This is. Divine Comedy is a Secret History, which is their greatest hits. Uh, this is a special version. Might have only been available through the fan club. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, like this, I think it was anyway. Fortunately, it's coming apart a bit. But it's got the greatest hits, which includes some re-recorded tracks. But then it's also got a disc of rarities in the back. Uh, it is, I can find it, signed by Neil Hannon, who is the Divine Comedy. And then it came with a photocopied. Oh, yes, I remember now. Yeah, V, having read it, I remember. They were late sorting out the Rarity CD, so they sent the book. I remember the CD came separate. And it wasn't meant to be signed. But because of the delay, Neil signed them. I remember. This is Charlene Spiteri, who's releasing with Texas. She released at least, well, obviously at least one solo album. Might have been two. But this is the movie song book. This is version in a nice 
film reel can which comes with a picture disc seven inch picture disc with Xanadu and Speak Softly Love on and then the booklet is signed by Charlene in just about Saturday All Australia man in a Charlene um and just about make out a signature there and it's got the album these are all songs from films including a version of Prince's Take Me With You from Purple Rain and Bowie's Cat People Putting Out The Fire from Cat People and then it's also got an extra disc with even more on there and different versions and demos and that sort of stuff <clears throat> so that's a nice little package although a bugger to store because it rolls this is the average white band all the pieces this is a complete studio recordings from 71 to 2003 plus two bonus discs of alternate versions rarities and mixes and these are all in vinyl replica sleeves and a nice booklet as well okay let me move on to the two George Harrison box sets so this one came out first this covers the latter part of his career uh, the Dark Horse years from 1976 to 1992 these are lovely box sets nice just little details like that and it's got all the albums for, so it's 33 and a third George Harrison somewhere in England Gone Tropo Cloud Nine uh, Live in Japan which is a super audio CD and then I was thinking while I was looking at that and the booklet which has also got DVD at the back which has got the Dark Horse era videos uh, selections from Alive in Japan and selections from the movie Shanghai Surprise which I think might be audio only if memory serves and then it's got a booklet about all the albums as well the only bugger across these two box sets so it doesn't include brainwashed which I haven't got round to getting yet and I really must so this came out later this is the Apple years box set very similar in format so this covers electronic sound Wonderwall music all things must pass living in the material world dark horse extra texture uh, the only problem with this is that rather than coming in the jewel cases like the first one they come in the vinyl replicas which are fine but obviously they don't match and again this has got a little book in it and I'm just throwing my CDs on and a DVD and the DVD in this one is is I'm trying to remember what's on it I'm trying to find what's on it ah pass I think it's got videos ah here we are uh, a feature about the box set a feature about all things must pass a feature about a concert for Bangladesh give me love give me peace on earth live from Japan uh, some alternate versions living in a material world featurette a video for ding dong ding dong and 30 second promotional clip for the Dark Horse album so nothing major on the um, on my DVD oh, that's wrong way around let's get that back in there we go okay how are we doing for time fine okay from George to the Beatles this is the US albums box set I didn't pick this up immediately but I managed to get it for a decent price the stereo and mono box sets were both presents I think yeah I think they were at least one of them was but I think they both were so these are replicas of all their US albums which as you may or may not know had different track listings up to uh, Sgt Pepper's first album where it's the same all over the world and that's stayed except 
Uh, the US got an extra compilation called Hey Jude, which... <coughs> oh, excuse me, all the dust. Um, which gathered some non-album tracks. But... Uh, these, con slightly controversially, didn't quite replicate the US albums because they didn't use... Some of the US albums had funny mixes with added reverb and stuff like that. And for the most part, they just included the same stereo remasters that were on the... And mono remasters. I think they're doubles. Um, but all the stereo box sets. But yeah, the track listings, they sort of mixed them up over the albums and what have you. So we've got all of those in here. And also the soundtrack ones actually featured soundtrack music, not just the songs as well, which is nice. And there's a CD called, the, or an album called The Beatles Story, which is largely non-music and is about, as it says, the story of the Beatles, with interviews and stuff like that. And that doesn't want to go away. Uh, I'm trying to remember now. Are they all... Yes, I, I thought so. Um, on this one, each disc has got the both the stereo mix and the mono mix. Uh, this is the most recent Bowie box set. I've done an unboxing of this. This is Loving the Alien 83 to 88, which covers Let's Dance, Serious Moonlight Live, Tonight, two versions of Never Let Me Down, Glass Spider Live, Dance, which is a compilation of 12 inches, and the fourth Recall CD, which has got all the single versions and all the soundtrack album stuff, and lots of decent stuff on here. It's one of the better recalls because it's got all the stuff from Absolute Beginners and um, Labyrinth and things like that. But yeah, I've done an unboxing of that, so I won't go into any more detail. Oh, I reckon I've got enough for one more on these, so I'll leave that one here. Um, I say you can watch previous parts on the playlist and future parts. Like, subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff, and I'll see you on another video. Bye.